Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time since the last video. That's because I just I just haven't had content and I've just been busy with like a lot of personal life stuff that uh I mean that'll be a future video. But right now, as you guessed it, I am finally uh, going with an aftermarket steering wheel setup for the RSX track car. Uh, I'm not gonna take them out the box just yet because right now I'm packing up to go take the car to Steve's. But yeah, the uh, Rap Thick Short Boss, the 22 3S is uh, the DC5, the S2000, um, EP3, like that generation of, of uh, Hondas. And here we go, and this is the, the Rap Fix. And here, if I haven't shown it before, is the Momo. It's in here. Like I said, I don't want to take it out the box just yet. I'll see y'all at Steve's. Hey YouTube, what's going on? We are at Steve's place now. And here's what I got, a Works Bell Short Hub Boss, right here, comes with all this, these connectors and whatnot. And it's Works Bell, so you know it's good quality. JDM AF, actual quick release. Uh, it comes with a bunch of other components and whatnot. As you can see. So I originally ordered a red one from Evasive, but they text me like, an hour later or something saying that they didn't have that and it was on back order for one two months and i was just like i don't want to wait man so they said they had like this one in stock it's a it's a special edition i forgot what it's called it's like yoshiata or y yoshioka or something matte black special edition i don't know they had it in the stock and i was just like yeah I'll, I'll pay the extra 18 bucks for it and get it shipped in case i haven't shown this last time here's that momo monte carlo in alcantara Alcantara and the red, red button right there. Already disconnected the battery. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking apart the steering wheel. Yeah, so you just pop those cones off. And here uh, the bottom, I think, the bottom of the bottom. There's one on this side? Yeah, there's one on both sides. It's like a weird type of connector where you don't like, it's supposed to like compress and then decompress. I can't remember exactly how I did it last time. Real quick to take this off, this part right here slides, like it slides down like that. That's how you unclip it, just FYI. All right, so to take off the airbag, you gotta get a Torx bit that fits that screw. I don't think there's any other screws screws holding in. All right guys, so these two screws hold in the airbag. Uh, we did find uh, a bit for that. It is a, a T30 Torx bit. There's one on that side, and then I didn't see it until just that, until uh, afterwards that there's a smaller panel right here that you need to pry off, and there's a, the other, the second screw back there. So right now, this should just be able to pop off. Yeah, there you go. So sell that on eBay. Yeah, this thing is like what 500 bucks right now. <laughs> Wait until the market for it is like the rare or something. Yeah. <laughs> so 14 mil. In the center. Yeah, this right here, and right? Then you just yank it out after that. Just make sure this is straight as possible. Yeah. That's another thing I forgot to mention. Make sure your steering wheel is straight as possible. The spline, uh, the spline will, will always line up one way. Alright. Alright, it's out. Yeah, you want to try yanking it first? <laughs> Should we leave that a, a little bit in? Oh, sure. while it while it, While we yank it or something? Or? Yeah, just a little bit. That's what I've been told, though, at least. And so you don't punch yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can yank it. You work out, I don't, so... <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, I want some fucking race seats. When, you, when 20 years when your CTR is a shit box, you probably can. <laughs> Ooh. Because that's 2000, it popped up real easy. I do remember that. Yeah, I think we need the puller. All right, guys, so we're taking off this, like, metal bracket assembly thing. Uh, just in case? So it turns out Steve has some kind of... It's a, it's a puller. Oh, a puller, okay. 
Alright, I need like a wrench for this. I don't think I have a good light. Spaces are fucking taking Yeah. I literally need that fucking space right there. Alright guys, so we're kind of dumbasses because like all this complicated shit, all we needed to do is all three of us with the power of friendship to so just yank on it real hard and it came out. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we're idiots. <laughs> what were we saying about this, Steve? Uh, you have to take the cable reel off. Okay. So you have to take off all this shit. Okay. I think there's a think some there's clips, screws. right? I took out the screws under, uh -huh. so it should just be clips from here on out, I think. So don't spin this thing. Okay. If you leave it, you have to tape it after it's off. And okay. that'll keep it from getting destroyed. Some of the nicer hubs, yeah. I think they actually reuse the reel. I don't know if, if the works bell is like that. Alright guys, so Steve was saying that we had to remove this, but because of how well the works bell hub, the short boss hub is, we don't have to. It reuses the whole assembly over here. Some other stuff, like NRGs, you gotta like remove it. Some and of them. Some of them, some yeah. Of them. But luckily, with Works Bell's products, we could still reuse this ribbon. See, we don't need any of these wires. We just need one wire, which is the horn wire, right? Yeah, so you would they just tuck all this shit in. So, let's see first. In the worst case, we just undo it. So once this is put back in place. Yeah, yeah. We'll get over there. So now it shouldn't go. And then you just put your bolt back in. Do you remember the torque setting for this? Nope. I just put it as German. <laughs> as Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Definitely don't want to put this on max power. We don't want to rip that fucking bolt in there. That, yeah, hole, that would be bad. That hole ain't going where this basically. So you have to pay attention to the, the nodes, like the little uh, positive and negatives. Yeah. And you have to hook them up correctly. So in this case, the positive is on top. Yeah. So it'd be like this. That's just to keep it from shorting on the inside of the hub. I tighten that thing in my jig, so we need the right orientation for this. Tuck all that shit in there. Then you connect this to this. So now you have your ground. Fuck. I was supposed to slide that through. <laughs> Our for the for the horn. Okay. So you you actually ground it like this, and then you hook up this one to that one. I, I, that's where I was thinking. Don't put the, the hub on the, or the quick release on the steering wheel yet. So you have to get the orientation. And here is the actual... Yeah, you have to get gloves now, right? <clears throat> yeah, I was actually telling uh, Jeff earlier I need to get gloves so I could preserve this Alcantara. Yeah, also, so you can go faster. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. true, true. That's the, the most important. Make you faster. It's the most important part. Make you look cool. It makes you look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Alright, I think I put the horn on, horn button on right. So now we can, uh... There's a, there's a lock right here or something? Oh, so you have to press that. Oh, I see. So you see it'll... It should always go into the same position. So mm -hmm. now you put the steering wheel on it. The spade on these are too small. I think that's what your thing might be for. 
those little wires. Because mm. the spades don't fit on one of these. Don't doesn't fit. fit at all. I just want to see if the horn works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> My bad. So yeah, the gauges were going fast. The gauges are stuck. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it's too big for this too. They go on this way? Or this way? This way? No, it won't work like that. It, it won't even fit in there. Because this little part is too big. It doesn't go this way? No, because then you can't put it on the back of the wheel. Eventually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just lop this off, and then lop a bit of this off, and then connect it onto that. Okay. okay. Pretty straightforward. Find a little bit extra. No wire stripper, no problem. Not the best idea, but it will work. It takes. Okay. Some wiring. It's a custom <laughs> harness. <laughs> now the horn will work. Alright. Just put the negative on. Well, just touch the negative on and see if. Make sure it's not shorting. At one point in the future, I'll probably put a, like a drop of Loctite on those. Get uh, some titanium screws. Ooh. It looks pretty close to stock in terms of like uh, distance. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I like how this has like a safety. Yeah, yeah, so you don't just like take it off like nonchalantly. Yeah, like autistically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the it's the Oh, you're gonna do the ding? I don't think it dings. It doesn't ding. It doesn't. Yeah. Because that's the sign of a good quality quick release. Yeah. It, it's a. It's actually pretty hard to take it off. Like, because you have to depress that little retainer thing. Mm -hmm. It's probably for safety. For safety, and you probably can't do it one handed. I, I couldn't. ding because it's made of quality tight fitting parts made in japan too <laughs> and italy because this hence that. why it took so long to, to put it on because we couldn't read the instruction manual <laughs> <laughs> no rip parts yeah, that fucking feels nice like going in and out feels nice too i just now i just need a hook <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you could you could get someone to tack a fucking hook on somewhere. All right, guys. So we're done with the steering wheel setup. It looks nice. It's amazing. Special shout out to uh, Steve and Jeff for helping me. I will definitely come back to this and let y'all know my my thoughts on the whole setup once I start driving it a little bit more. 
it's nice. I don't know really know what to say <laughs> really other than it's it's nice and finally I could like get in and out of the car without uh hitting my hips or my legs on the wheel. Uh, like and subscribe and comment if you want to and follow these two on Instagram and see you on the next one. Peace.